Hi, I'm Steve, 84XT. Welcome to Ham Radio Portable. We are right in the middle of the CQ160 contest, waiting for nightfall to get here. I'm with my buddy Steve. KM4 SLW. And uh, we've got a couple of good antennas we'd like to show you around and show you what we're doing this weekend. Stick around. We have got two antennas that we're using this weekend. One of them is right behind me on this tree, and I'm gonna let Steve talk about that. Okay, uh, the first antenna we got, this is an inverted L uh, vertical. Uh, first time I've ever done one of these. Uh, goes up here at the base of the antenna. You can see up here. This is something I just rigged up about a week or so ago, uh, just for this contest. Radials start out at uh, 10 feet off the ground. The radials are 130 feet long. There's five of them. Uh, they don't go out quite evenly because of the trees and all, but there's, uh, there's five 130 foot uh, elevated radials. Elevated, how, like how high are they off the ground? Well, 10 feet here and they slope down to no lower than six foot. Won't be able to walk, walk under them. What type of wire did you use for the radial? The radials are 17 gauge aluminum uh, electric fence wire. Uh, that stuff is it's cheap. It's a it's a kind of a pain to work with because it wants to, to coil up pretty bad. But it's uh, it's inexpensive. It works pretty good. Uh, the vertical part is 14 gauge uh, insulated copper. It goes up to the top of this tree, which I think is about 50, 55 feet to the very top. Then it goes uh, horizontal over to the top of the big, big pine tree over there behind us. It goes just about to that tree. Okay. Now, is there any coil to that? No, there's no coil loading. The first antenna I made was a coil loaded, but there's so much loss in those. Um, just decided that really wasn't a, a good idea to do that. So we went to a bigger quarter wave vertical. Okay. And, uh, we're feeding that with some LMR 400, about 140 feet of it going back to the, to the shack. Now we operated last night off of this antenna and had some problems and we had to do a little. A little yeah, we had some common mode issues with it. So uh, I did two things. One was I moved a uh, uh, inline uh, choke out here closer to the to the antenna itself, um, and at the shack end, I grounded the shield of the coax to a, uh, a ground rod that we have there. Can we take a look at that? Yeah. Ready? We're at the uh, entry point to the shack. Yeah, this is the vertical line. Uh, goes through these little uh, through through the wall connectors and uh, what I did was I just added a ground wire onto this piece of metal a piece of aluminum which is in contact with the, the shield ran that down with some uh, number 12 down to a, uh, a ground rod that was already there uh, between that and moving the choke out by the the antenna um, the testing I did earlier looks like uh, it's working okay now we're not having the, the problems that we were having last night but, yeah, you know, we'll problems, see once we get once we get cranked up no the problems we had was what the uh, amp kicking off that was affecting yeah we were getting uh, uh we were getting faults on the amp even though the swr was okay uh so just assumed it, what we were getting was some uh some rf some common mode kicking back on us okay well maybe we got it fixed got another night to give it a good good try let's go look at that other antenna Okay, here is the base and the transformer for the in-fed halfway for 160. And it's a little bit different than most, and Steve's going to tell us he built this himself. Yeah, the first one we had was uh, had two uh, ferrite cores. They were 240 type 43s, and uh, since I got an amplifier, you know that wasn't going to quite work for that. So th uh, this particular one is uh, has three cores. They're uh, the 290 Type 43s, and uh, three of them together. And uh, this one has three uh, three turns on the primary. It only this one really is only good for 160 and 80. It, it's uh, with that particular uh, 
windings, it's not really good for anything else. Okay, you got it mounted real, real well here. And, and uh, uh, ground rod back there. Okay. Got it grounded real good with a ground rod. All right, this antenna goes up, straight up. And uh, how far did we determine? We, I don't know I how we, we got. Said this was about 55. Maybe 60 feet. About 60 foot. Top went, of this, uh, this big hickory. And then it's in an inverted L pattern all the way over to the over top the, of Over that. the top of that pine tree. Over the top of this pine tree. We estimated that about 85 foot. So it's inverted L. That's a long way. This is a, this is a good antenna. Let me go get another angle of that. All right, we're over here by our big, tall Georgia pine, and we had to do some slingshot magic to get it over, but here it is, stretched all the way to, to the top of the hickory over there. And uh, as we've compared these two antennas, what have we really noticed? They're per Well, just looking at on receive, uh, they're the same. Uh, as far as transmit, don't know. We haven't, uh, you know, done like an A-B comparison, uh, talking to another station to uh, to see what happens. Kinda. I would suspect the vertical would be better. Yeah, we're after DX as much as we can get, and uh, yeah, we didn't get very much last night, so we're hoping tonight yeah. will uh, be a little bit better. Yeah, the vertical should have a lower takeoff angle, so we'll we'll see. All Maybe right. better tonight. It'll be better. What we got in the grill here? That look like some good nourishment for a contest, don't it? Yep, you gotta keep up your strength. Gotta keep up your strength. Alright. Alright, we got our neighbor up the street running the contest, but we're gonna we're gonna wait on that. We got a little nourishment to partake in, so first things first here. Thank you, good luck. This is our number two, Charlie, Echo, India, Q and Z. Thank you, contest. Our number two, Charlie, Echo, India, Q and Z. I forgot your damn call sign for a second. <laughs> Hey. Nine, so, no, it ain't my call. Two, Alpha Delta 4 X ray Tango. Alpha Delta 4 X ray Tango. This is November 2, Charlie. Echo India 59, Florida. QSL, you're 59, Georgia. Georgia, the Georgia. Thank you and good luck. This is a uh, Alpha Delta 4 X ray Tango. November Golf 4, Charlie. 59, November Charlie. QSL, you're 59, Georgia. Golf Alpha. Okay, QSL, uh, thank you for Georgia. You're 5'9 North Carolina. Happy holiday, QRJ. Ski Germany, 3 Japan, contest. Alpha Delta 4, X ray Tango. Alpha Delta 4, what is that? Uh, X ray Tango, 5'9 Maryland, Mike Delta. QSL, you're 5'9 Georgia, Golf Alpha. Kilowatt 3 Zulu, Mexico. Kilowatt 3 Zulu, Mexico, contest. Um, Alpha Delta 4, go ahead. Alpha Delta 4, X ray Tango, you're 5'9 Georgia. QSL, you're 59 Georgia, Golf Alpha. Thank you for Georgia. Alpha Delta 4, X ray Tango. Alpha Delta 4, X ray Tango, you're 59 in Maryland. QSL, you're 59 Georgia. Thank you. Kilo 3 Zulu Oscar. Alpha Delta 4, X ray Tango. QSL, 59 Golf Alpha. Georgia, Golf Alpha. Alpha, thank you. Kilo at 9, Radio Sugar. Take your contact, take your contact. Come up Jump right here. Ocean 9 Echo. Jump at the Ocean 9 Echo. Alpha Delta 4, X-Ray Tango. Okay, um, Fox Shark Tango. Alpha Delta 4, X-Ray Tango. Alpha Delta 4, X-Ray Tango, 59 Georgia. Yes, sure, sure. You're also 59 Georgia. Thank you. Athens, Georgia. Radio Hotel. Alpha Delta 4 
QSL, you're 5'9 Maryland. QSL, you're 5'9 Georgia, Golf Alpha. Okay, some final thoughts for the CQ160 contest here the next morning. It's about all over. Oh yeah, it's uh, the band's gone. It's gone flat. We've we've shut down for for this time. 200 and what 24 contacts. Had about half of them on Friday night and the other half on Sunday night. So not too bad. Uh, we enjoyed the two antennas. They worked both about equally. Once we got the common mode current straightened out a little bit, and uh, the amp helped this year. Oh yeah. You know, amp helped us get over the the notch on some some of those. So, anyways, hope you enjoyed that. Hope we uh maybe put you in the log this year. So uh, from Alpha Delta 4 X-ray Tango. KM4 SLW. We'll see you again on the next Ham Radio Portable 73.